So, um, yeah. First, let me introduce myself for those who just don't know me. What's my name? My name is not very useful, so that's my email. If you want to tell me something, just send me an email. Uh, <laughs> it's a bad joke. Uh, I, I work as a software developer. Uh, in general, I actually work for Blue Systems. We do KD stuff. And, uh, well, I've been doing stuff in KD for, 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 for years now. Like, over 10 years, it's starting to feel like really, really long time now. And, uh, well, I was part of the KDP board report earlier because I'm part of the KDP board as well. Uh, one thing that I think is especially important to remember is that nothing that I'm going to talk about this talk is because I am part of the board. Anyone can incubate the KDP project. We're going to talk about what it means, right? But, um, well, let's start from the beginning. So, if you're some person from the interwebs and look about how a project moves into KD, you will end up into, um, well, this um, wiki page called the Applications Lifecycle that has this weird uh, graph over here where uh, projects go from playground to KD review. Uh, it looks complex, it's complex, also it's not super helpful, uh, but it kind of tells us where we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the incubator part, which is the top on the, the, the part on the top right, uh, but there's like other ways of becoming a KD project, and well, there's some concept of review, something you can uh, try to remember, and then there's different places where your project will end up uh, in. Actually. Then we include unmaintained in the end because we are thorough people, but it's not part of our expectations anyways. Um, so we're going to talk about the, the KD incubator, which is something that um, it's fairly new in KD. When, when I started in KD, we didn't have the concept, and it's something that appeared. Uh, I wasn't part of the, of the creation of the, of the whole concept, so. Uh, I'm trying to explain it as how I felt it and how I, I, I saw it happening, right? But it mostly, but at some point there was this manifesto discussion that actually started to grow more and more uh, well in intense, and actually it uh, evolved into well the goals and the KD vision and the KD mission. If you've been around, you've been hearing about this whole concept. But in general, if you go to the KD manifesto, what we're talking about is that the projects in KD need to have good governance, they need to be free software, they need to be inclusive, we want everyone to be uh, part of, of our project, we want to do innovation in innovative projects. Uh, we want to, we think it's important that the, the projects are, are, are shared among ourselves and, and we have an end user focus, so everything we create is for, for a person somewhere who is sitting with, well, a digital something device and, and, and he needs, well, our values uh, governing that device, right? Um, this, this, maybe it's too abstract, but, well, I didn't have enough coffee this morning. But in general, what the KD Incubator is about is mostly uh, being able to find a project that is existing and have this project join KD and be able to enjoy all of these uh, concepts that, that we include in the manifesto. Um, so in this room, who hasn't read the manifesto? All right, then all of you, very bad, unless Hasn't I said? All right, all right. Let's let's try again. Who has not read the manifesto? Boo. <laughs> but no. I'm not angry. I am disappointed. <laughs> and the lions as well. Um. Uh, the real reason why I wanted to do this presentation isn't itself that I think that the incubation process is amazing. It's because it kind of feels like it's something that is there 
feels kind of bureaucratic and we don't really know who is the incubation process. Actually, it's something that um, happened to me, like, I knew we had the manifesto, I knew we had this process, but then I knew people who wanted to join KD, their project was uh, well, kind of in our orbit for a while. The, the, the first project I incubated was KTEC Lab. KTEC Lab is a project that is older than most KD projects nowadays, right? It's some project that when I was starting at university, it was already a thing, and I even remember trying it back then. It had a key to beginning, and we kind of probably assumed it was a KD project, but it wasn't a thing. I started talking to the developers, and they were interested in being part of, of the KD community and, and, well, the things we do. But then, I knew someone had been incubated, but there wasn't anyone to, to create. So, uh, after talking to a couple of people who I knew that had incubated, I, I, I realized that the, the, the right solution, if I wanted these people to be able to join KD, uh, or these people ended their project, was to just incubate the project myself and stop like looking for uh, incubation thought or something of the likes, which is something that happens to us, right? Like, uh, where we start working on something, we get onboarded ourselves, and then expect that the rest is, well, everything makes sense. But then in, 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 in reality, what, what, you, what you find when you're uh, developing or when you're working on free software, you see that <laughs> the big advantage is that everything is in the open, so you can do it yourself, right? Um, but then, uh, what did I have to do? I had to learn how, how, how this works, right? So, basically what you have to remember is that there's, there is, there's nothing, like there's not a body of people doing it, but there has been a lot of people uh, thinking about the, how the process had to work. We have um, this wiki, we can, we can take a look at it so that at least you've seen it. Uh, explaining the whole process in a lot of detail. It's actually really fabulous. Um, but, but you can get a good idea of, of what's going on. The, the actual interesting page when you start doing stuff is this one, incubated projects. So there's basically like four states of, the, of every project that they're gonna have like four states. Uh, first is candidates, so the idea is if a project wants to incubate themselves, but they are incapable of finding somebody from KD uh, to, to incubate them. They can add themselves there and something magic will happen. Spoiler alert, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you see somebody in the candidate's place, but talk to them or, or, or see what's happening. But, um, it's something I have in a, in a later slide, but something to remember very important about the incubation process is that it's about the people, right? Like, the project itself, I mean, that's the actual bureaucratic part and actually it doesn't matter that much, right? We need to make sure it's a proper open source project or free software project, right? We will do that, that's fine, that's easy, right? It's, it's a license, it's either or not. But the, 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 the big deal here is to make sure like people understand who we are. Actually, people know who to talk to. They, know, they need to know they can talk to people, right? Uh, it's about like getting all of these people familiar with, with the process and, and, and telling them, uh, well, like never to say that they are already getting members and that they already can start working as such, right? Um, I was about, uh, I was talking about how to start, so what we do is we copy this page into a new one. This is, of course, well, fill the blanks kind of thing because uh, it's for a project that hasn't started. Um, and, and we put it in, into one of the pages like the, the rest. So as you see here, bu, 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 back, like here we have, uh, for example, for Canadian Life, we have the URL, it's incubator, slash project, slash Canadian Life. So if we're incubating LibreOffice, so we will do. Uh, Incubator slash project slash digital office, you would put the small page in it and then you would start filling stuff. Uh, we can even look at, at how it, it looks. I would expect everything to be green because Kenyan Life is already a KD project. If it's not, we can go bite whoever incubated them, but he did a very thorough job as you can see here. Um, 
the idea is that you will, um, as, as the sponsor is the, the, the name that we use in the documentation, so as a sponsor you will start uh, well, filling maybe, but well, or adding it to the list, start talking to the, to the project members and, and, and seeing what, what you can do with them. Um, like I said, uh, it's about incubating the people as well, so the project maintainer will, will have their own share of work to do. They will have to learn and agree to the manifesto. If they don't agree on the manifesto, they shouldn't become a TD project. That's obvious, right? Um, they should know, know their project. It's not like somebody going through the internet can find a random project that they don't really know about and say, I'm going to move this project to KDE, right? Because we want to actually like have a healthy project joining KDE. So they, they need to know their project. They need to know what's the license on their project. They need to know uh, how it works. They need to know where people are, are talking, like uh, mailing lists, IRC channels. Mailing lists is, for example, something that you will probably want to move into the KDE infrastructure. So the, the person moving this, this kind of thing, they will need to, to have the credentials for the, 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 the things they have. Also, the, the, the website, this kind of stuff. Also, something I, I found that it's best to not be, to be in a hurry. Like, the sponsor should be in a hurry, the project should be in a hurry. It's, it's a process that doesn't need to, be, to happen in one day. It's fine if it happens in a month. In the end, it's something. It's a relationship that should uh, well, stay set for the next few years at least, right? If they want to continue working on the project, and uh, they, they will do so for, for a few years, right? So it's not a matter of doing everything today. It's a matter of talking things through and letting everyone do their, their own thing. Um, as a sponsor, something that I, I, I found very useful uh, when doing the well, such incubations is uh, having well, calls with the with, uh, project maintainers. It's what um, well ensures that, that the conversation is uh, somewhat fluid. The, well, well, the, the people from the project will often be maybe a bit shy and well, not used to talking about, about uh, well, something, so it's fine. Like to have a more familiar kind of, of medium. Of course, you are free to decide what to do if you don't like, I don't know, showing your face or showing your voice. Then you can do text or email or chat or email or whatever. I think that that having regular calls though works really well. Um, one of the things that um, happens really commonly in the, in the whole process is. Um, filling sysadmin tickets. So there are sysadmin tickets for the mailing list. Actually, the sysadmin is the actual people who do most of the work, right? They create the mailing list, they create the repos, they, they accept the, the, the user, um, the, the, the push privileges. They, they do all of this stuff, right? And actually, mostly what it means uh, that you do between the different meetings is just telling him, well, now you create the mailing list, open the ticket, uh, add me as a subscriber so that I see it um, when we meet next time, next week, next month, or whatever, you, well, and you have this done, then we can start talking about, well, what's next, right? Now, like, you cannot do things in parallel, right? But if you're waiting on the mailing list to be created, then it's, maybe there's not that much stuff that needs to happen. Um, I, uh, well, when thinking about the, about the presentation, I, I thought that probably three or five polls is what and ends up being what we needed. Um, is there anyone here I incubated? They're all in Lucian's talk. Bastards. <laughs> all right. Um, you can talk to Aditya. I incubated uh, his plasmoid. Uh, you can talk to uh, Camilo. I incubated... Uh, um, or any other of the projects that have been incubated by other people who are otherwise nice, but not as handsome. Um, well, ask them about the, about the experience. Uh, I'm sure they, it would be useful for you, especially if you're interested in ever incubating something, which you are, because who wouldn't be interested in having more free software 
Tower control. But yeah, uh, overall, what, what we've been talking is mostly not about licenses, right? Like there's the licenses that are acceptable for EKD, it's something that you need to understand and you will have to see, but it's, it's not about, well, these old process that we do to have projects actually end up becoming KD projects. I mean, that's super boring, and I agree. But it's also a process that we need, right? And, and it's not that we need it because there's a technical impedancy for their code to be on our git, actually. Like, this part would just um, be quick. Uh, it's, it's about having these people know that, that um, what KD is about, and actually making sure that they're here at the academy. Which is something actually I, I wasn't really uh, successful at doing with all of my mm, QPs, but um, well, it's kind of a goal, right? Um, so, if you're still feeling insecure, uh, the kind of things that you would want to well see how how it works and maybe try to like, make sure you understand it. Identity account, uh, the Git push permissions. For, for Git, there's a super good wiki we have in community.k.org. If you search for beats, accounts, something, you will find it easily. Uh, it's something that it's very healthy, I think, to, to tell the incubated project to, to look into because there's really a, all of the information they're going to need. Also, it's not your job to tell or to teach them how to use Git or this kind of stuff, right? Like, there's very good material on the interwebs about this, this, this kind of stuff. Uh, maybe Fabricator is something that you can put some kind of emphasis. But actually, really, it's, it's not, not really that much. Mailing um, websites, but again, it's, it's all about uh, talking to sysadmin and uh, being nice to them. And if there's pro problems on the sysadmin side, make sure that you are there to explain why it's happening. Like sysadmin, if they see someone from random coming to them and telling them, give me my, my mail address, they will feel that it's weird. But if you're a part of the conversation, then it's automatically fine instead. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm forgetting something. But in general, the, the idea is that they should be able to just enjoy KD to be part of all of the services that, that we provide to, the, to, the, to our community, all of the CI, well, the infrastructure, mailing lists, websites, uh, promo as well. Actually, promo is probably the last step of the incubation process, right? Like, you made the project become a KD project, now you need to, well, make sure that the world knows it's a KD project now. And, well, we also need, as, as promo, we need to learn how to uh, advertise it, see what's, what's this project putting on the table and making sure that, that, that the, the wall is, is going to enjoy it pop up. Um, but well, yeah, as I was saying, big, big parts are um, promo, CI, um, minor is like, one of the big problems that we're gonna see when the project this is, is finally in KD, which is what takes us back to the first part of the slide, is that uh, the project ends up in this review process. The review should be fine because, well, in general, if the project is healthy, they won't have problems, and if they have problems, they will be fixed because the project is healthy, right? They, they will need to, well, figure out where they want to be, um, which uh, they usually prefer, or they actually usually use to doing their own uh, releases because that's what you do when you're a, a node in the, in the interwebs. Uh, they have the option of becoming a KD application kind of project, so Albert will be releasing them, or Christoph, uh, from time to time. If it's a plasma thing, then, then, then plasma, right? But um, in general, I think that everyone I remember um, that has been incubated, they've been just uh, self-releasing. Maybe eventually they end up letting Albert do their thing. That's, that's just part of, of it. But the, um, the important part of that is that they 
they will want to get binaries, right? They will eventually want to be on every distro, they will want to have uh, Windows binaries. It's something that can use some help hand holding. Something you, you can uh, uh, remember all from your, your project incubus is that even though the you've moved them down into the active projects in the incubation wiki, that doesn't mean that they cannot talk to you anymore. They can just reach you reach out to you and if they have questions, uh, tell you. Because well, I don't know, there's scary people in the in the internet and you never know who you're gonna find. Um, but if it's a friendly face, then it's always gonna serve a little bit. All right, so if there's any questions, probably that now is a good time. I haven't seen the limit, and I haven't never seen a limit where uh, we've had too many of them. On the other hand, 
we do have the manifesto. Like the line is definitely at do these projects, follow the manifesto and the rules we, we have set. I think that this could be, I mean, if there are so many projects that, that are aligned with PD vision, I mean, that's great. It's not something we should be complaining about. You're not gonna get like the, the KD part of it, right? You, 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 GitHub doesn't understand what Kyo is. No, you have to do it. And also translation, you can say it gives you translation infrastructure, but the actually important part of the translation is not having translation software; it's having translators, right? So that's actually the point I want to say. That I think the value, of, my the value of the
general, I think it's more people losing interest in projects more than them becoming evil. Because everyone who doesn't like us is evil, right? So. All right, then thanks you for coming and for all the questions and lunch.